All right, good morning. Uh, we want to take just a couple minutes and uh, bring you up to date uh, with the progress that we've uh, made in this investigation. Uh, with me is the uh, uh, Chief of Police from Newtown, uh, the Field Operations Commander of the State Police, and my counterpart here from uh, Newtown Police Department. Uh, as you know, the uh, victims have been positively identified uh, by the uh, Office of the Chief State's Medical Examiner. Uh, they're still in the process of doing some of their work, and uh, as soon as that work is completed, we will be prepared uh, to release in writing to you uh, a formal uh, uh, list of uh, names, birth dates, and, and information. Uh, there is one, uh, well, there's a couple major factors. Number one, uh, when we release that list, and we would ask you again, as we did yesterday, at the request of all of the family members, they have asked for you to please respect their privacy. They're going through, as I know you understand, a very difficult and trying time. Uh, we have, in fact, uh, under the auspices of, of the chief and the colonel, uh, reassigned and continue to assign a trooper uh, to these folks to help to maintain uh, that solitude. Uh, so again, I would ask you, and I'm pleading with you, uh, as you know, this is an extremely heartbreaking difficult thing for these folks to endure uh, to please abide by their requests. Um, in addition, for the townspeople uh, in the town of Newtown, a crisis intervention team from Yale New Haven Hospital has been established uh, here in the community, and they can be reached via telephone. Uh, that telephone number is 203-270-4283. And again, they're they're open and they're available to anyone in the community who may have uh, the need to discuss, to talk, uh, to to uh, talk about this uh, this incident in its entirety. Um, I have the ability to take some questions. I just simply want you to understand that we still have major crime detectives and Newtown detectives working at the scene in the school. That is not completed. That probably will not be completed for at least another day and a half to two days. And I'm putting a time limit on it, and it could take longer. Uh, as I explained to you in previous press conferences, we've done everything we need to do uh, to literally peel back the onion layer by layer okay, and examine every crack and crevice of that facility. And that does not include, or exclude, I should say, the outside of the building. The outside of the building is also a part of the crime scene, every single vehicle in that lot. So it's going to be a long, painstaking process. Uh, we actually have three teams now, three major crime teams in the community. Uh, our, our local partners are working with us, and, and we're going to move that as, uh, and expedite that along as quickly as possible. Uh, we had a meeting uh, this morning, and that was a delay with the uh, superintendent of schools. Uh, she will be, um, uh, hopefully, in the not too distant future, up here. Uh, to talk briefly um, about some of the issues that, uh, that she has encountered. Uh, the minute the medical examiner is done, and I mean that sincerely, the minute he is done, uh, he is coming here and we will uh, again provide, provide all the detailed information or as much detailed information as we can relative to uh, uh, the work that his office did uh, both overnight and, and continue to do as we speak. Um, again, as far as actual specific questions, I'll take a few. But I have to tell you, all right, there are certain things that were just simply cards that we're holding close to our chest uh, in this investigation until, so nothing's taken out of context and we have continuity of, of all the information that we provide. Yes, sir. Well, there were reports that there were other guns other than the 4 you found in the school. Are those reports accurate? No, that's, that's, that's not accurate. The, uh, the weaponry that, uh, that was recovered by our uh, investigators recovered in close proximity of, uh, of the deceased. And again, we're, we're investigating the history of each and every weapon, and we will know every single thing about those weapons. And I know follow-up questions are legally registered, who are the owners, and so on and so forth. That's all being done by the investigator that's assigned to that task. Is the shooter Adam Lenza? Yeah, we, we're, we're, again, we're going to allow the medical examiner, we're going to wait for the medical examiner to, uh, uh, to come in and provide the identities of the shooter of all the deceased in this in this investigation. Senator, have you found any writings, any emails, any messages that would, would enlighten you as to what his motive was? That, that certainly is a, is a fair, good question. Uh, the answer I can give you on that is that 
Our investigators at the crime scene, the school, and secondarily at the uh, secondary crime scene that we discussed uh, where the female was located deceased, uh, did produce uh, some very, uh, a very good evidence uh, in this investigation that our investigators will be able to use uh, in hopefully uh, painting the complete picture as to how and more importantly, why this occurred. Can you talk about the evidence? We don't, we're not going to name the evidence. We're not going to talk about the evidence. It's simply, uh, simply stated it's part and parcel of the investigation. I don't want to take it out of context of, uh, of what's being done. What, 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 what the building? We have established the point of entry. Uh, it was, uh, I can tell you, it was, it's believed he was not voluntarily led into the school at all. Uh, that he forced his way into the school, but that's uh, as far as we can go on that. Are there any broken windows at the school? Are there what? Yeah, quite frankly, that's that's something. Again, if you take it out of context, it sounds suspicious. But uh, as the rescue crews arrive, the uh, active shooting teams entered the school. They entered the school from several different points, and it necessitated forcing their way in to gain access to perform the rescue and to save as many students and faculty as they possibly could. Hence, law enforcement broke many windows. What about the other scene where one body was found? What's that? What about the other scene? The other crime scene? Yeah, the secondary crime scene, as I told you, was, was a crime scene that was discovered pursuant to the investigation. Uh, once we had a tentative identification on the uh, suspect, we began doing um, a great deal of work. Uh, again, peeling back the onion, everything we could find out about that suspect, including and not limited to uh, relatives, friends, co-workers, uh, former students, um, uh, location of, of residents, and all those areas had to be, people had to be interviewed, and all those areas had to be examined. Uh, hence, that caused us to discover the secondary crime scene, which was a private residence with a sole female deceased. Do you think it will provide you a motive or an explanation as to why the people To be determined. The detectives will, will certainly analyze everything and put a complete picture together of, of the evidence that they, that they did obtain. Um, and we're hopeful, we're hopeful that it'll, it'll paint a complete picture as to how and why this entire incident, uh, unfortunate incident occurred. On the other crime scene, John did survived. you find a man or a woman? I'm sorry? There was one woman who uh, was shot and survived. How is she doing? Uh, she, she is doing fine. She, she has been treated and, and uh, she'll be instrumental in this investigation. I'm sure you can understand. That I don't know. That I don't. Force, forcibly force his way into the school. That would be, that would be accurate according to investigators. Yes. And does it appear to use weapons to break his way I, in? I don't. I don't want to be too specific because, quite frankly, I don't know. So I, I would simply. I've been informed that it was forcibly entered and was not allowed to enter, if you will. All right, what I what I'd like to do is is, is I'd like to uh, get the next portion, if you will, of today. And I, I don't want to keep you here all day. I want to try and do this as expeditiously as we possibly can and get as much information out to you. Uh, we'd like to get the uh, uh, the superintendent definitely wants to come up with the town leaders uh, to, to discuss uh, uh, certain uh, areas of her responsibility. Uh, and then we, we certainly want to get the medical examiner up here. And again, we'll do that as quickly as we possibly can so we can get uh, the list of IDs and all the information out to you. Uh, for any of you that are new here today, a lieutenant and I have put together a, a written press release. Uh, we'll, we'll provide those to you uh, at my vehicle. Please don't rush my vehicle. We have we should have enough for everyone. And if not, we'll bring more uh, next time we come up. And it just lays out the basic details of everything leading up up until uh, today. All right, we will uh, we will try. I don't want to give you a time, but we will try to be back here. I'm going to say within the hour. I'll, I'll make notification to some of you that uh, that I can that we're on the way. All right. Yes, sir. One question. Now, you have to understand that after the shooting, that we did a complete and thorough search of the entire area, the neighborhood, uh, with our local partners. Everything, everything was examined. If we found anyone that was in the woods cutting wood, they would be, they would be detained uh, pending the investigation. So there were no other arrests that were associated with this with this investigation uh, that occurred. Okay. Um, I would I would have you address that with the uh, with the superintendent of schools. Okay, we can she can she can give you that answer. We're, we we will we will be back. I need to get if I don't get here, we're going to be here quite some time. I know you have a lot of questions. And I think the people that are coming here that are, we're bringing here to speak to you.
can really answer these questions and put a lot of uh, take a lot of the mystery out of, of what we've been dealing with for the last 24 hours. Okay, we will we will be back.